This is what's left of Mampuján, a once thriving farming town near the Caribbean coast. Right-wing paramilitary fighters invaded it in 2000, accusing the residents of collaborating with leftist rebels. Twelve people were killed in the area. The entire village was displaced. That's where I was raised. Gabriel Pulido's family worked this land for generations. The land here is very fertile. Some say that if you sow money, money will grow. The truth is that this is very productive land, corn, plantains, yuca, and this is how the community would sustain itself. Even if we were not all owners, everybody had access to the land. Gabriel is today a landless farmer living in a makeshift settlement. While most of the food production has been replaced with oil palm plantations, often controlled by rich owners. Unequal distribution of land has been a major factor in the Colombian conflict since the beginning of it. Only in the last 20 years, an area bigger than the size of Switzerland has been stolen or abandoned. And today, over 50% of the land is controlled by just 1% of the population. Under a new land restitution law, the government is promising to return some of the land to the farmers, even if many never held formal ownership. I think it's a very important first step because it constitutes explicit recognition on the part of the Colombian government that indeed uh, land concentration is a problem and that many peasants' rights have been violated um, throughout this, this long armed conflict. Um, what Colombia needs, I think, is a systematic land reform. A dozen families were recently awarded titles, but recovering the land is just the first challenge. I'm glad for the title. It means I can work the land again, maybe even get a loan and grow, but we still need protection. Many don't want us back, and we need assistance, roads, electricity, water. Land reform is the first point of the ongoing peace talks between the government and the biggest rebels group, FARC. Each side differs on the model for rural development, but both agree this is the issue that needs to be resolved before the country can advance towards peace. Alessandro Rampietti, Al Jazeera, Mampuján.